weather forecast from the Valley News Live Storm Team. With us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley SkyCam. That SkyCam is still bouncing just a bit with some gusty winds, but those winds will be dying down later on today. Some sunshine out there mixed with a few clouds from time to time, and that will be the trend as we head through the day today. Some partly cloudy skies and sun not going to help us warm up very much at all. Seven feels more like minus 10 winds out of the north and northeast at 14 miles per hour. They'll continue around 10 to 20 miles per hour with some occasional stronger gusts until later on to this evening. Minus four in Roseau, two below in Langdon, minus one in Devil's Lake, off towards the east and southeast, a touch warmer, 10 in Detroit Lakes, also 10 in Wadena, 13 down in Sesotin. But those winds, they're still around a lot less than they were last night. We saw winds gusting as high as 40 to 50 miles per hour in many locations as the cold front made its way on through. Still seeing those gusty winds and creating some cold wind chills. Cold is 22 below up in Hallock. Minus 15 in Thief Row Falls, 8 below in Bemidji, 11 below in Valley City, 19 below up in Langdon. Tomorrow we'll have lighter winds and some warmer temperatures. As we go through the day today, a mix of some clouds and sun, more sun than clouds across the far north and more clouds and sun across the west and southwest. Underneath those clouds, we do have some precipitation off towards the west. Most of that, if not all of that, will slide off towards the south and southeast and miss our area, but we can't rule out a few isolated flurries and snow showers from well, Jamestown down towards the uh, Ellendale area as we head through the afternoon and evening. The bulk of that snow, though, will stay well off to our south. The system will paint uh, several inches of snow across South Dakota, so if you're headed south along I-29 later on today or even tonight or tomorrow, you may see some slick spots along I-29. A lot of action in that area. Other than that, relatively quiet across most of the country. Outside of a little bit of a rain-snow mix in northern portions of Michigan, and a little bit of rain in the northeastern portions of the U.S. For us, as we head through the day today, again, most of that activity will stay off to our west and the south. Not much of a warm-up today. Single digits north, teens to the south. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, not a whole lot of a, a cool-down. Temperature is cooling down into the single digits. You may see a few areas that got some snow very late last night, early this morning, drop below zero elsewhere. Some single digits to the north and some low teens towards the south. Tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine once again, and that'll help warm us on up into the 20s in most locations. And again, across the north where we did get some snow, may hang on to some teens for some high temperatures. As we head into tomorrow evening, temperatures cooling back down into the teens and the 20s. Today, not a very warm one. Mid-teens, tomorrow 30. and. Watch the warm-up as we head through the rest of the week. Mid-30s by Thursday, mid-40s by Saturday, and flirting with 50 by Sunday. Right now, the only chance of precip looks to be in the form of some rain and or snow showers on Friday. And it's nice.